Hi, I'm Jenny Shampoo, the director of the Book of Mormon Art Catalog, and I'm here today with Stephen Peck. Welcome. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Oh. Thank you for all your work with this amazing project you're doing. It's just Thank so you. impressive. Thank you. Well, Stephen Peck is um, an associate professor of biology at BYU. He's an evolutionary biologist, a poet, an award-winning novelist, and honestly just about the nicest guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> I have loved getting to know him over the past few years and uh, really appreciate his curiosity about the world and the gospel um, and his eagerness to share it with others and think it through with others. Um, so today we're looking at 2 Nephi chapters 26 to 30, and the artwork we're looking at is by Shelby Stroud, and it's this piece behind, the, behind us. It's called, I Remember Those Who Are on the Isles of the Sea, and she did this in 2021 and entered it into the, um, the 12th International Art Competition at the Church History Museum, and it won a visitor's Visitors' Choice Awards, where visitors could come in and, and vote for their favorites. Um, I happened to see this when the exhibit was up a few months ago, and I noticed a lot of people stopping at this one. It's a really large piece, um, and, uh, and, and really stunning. People were really taken with it, as I was too. Um, Steve, can you tell us a little bit about what this artwork is made out of? So this is really an interesting piece. I, 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 I'm so struck by it. It's, it's, it's made of, and the reason maybe I like it is it's made of biology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's made of, of 25,000 yeah. seashells, shark cases, driftwood, all these really neat biological things. And it's, it's so s stunning that when you look at it at first, I didn't see the shells. It was a, uh, a portrait mm -hmm. of a Polynesian woman that that just stood out. But as you get in close, it looks like an impressionist work almost. It does, yeah. But as you get closer and see the details and how this was constructed, it's just an amazing piece. I mm -hmm. love it. <laughs> it does remind me of impressionist works where uh -huh. you have the little dots of color, but then when you step back, it kind of blends optically. Yeah. Um, it reminded me of Chuck Close too, who's an American or was an American artist who did these monumental portraits that were photorealist but made of little tiny dots. So when you get up close again, it's that it's, little individual pieces, but then yeah. somehow they all blend together when you stand back, and it's a really cool effect and interesting that she was able. She I think collected these shells and then she did um, from the from the write up I saw on the piece. Um, some important things that I didn't know yeah. that I think make this an outstanding piece. My first thought was that she'd colored the shells to look like this, mm -hmm. but she didn't. All of these are found objects that are the exact color she needed. So she went through a selection process mm -hmm. to, to choose each shell, where it would fit, what it, what it mm -hmm. does, and the, the detail on this is just stunning. I'm, yeah. I, I, can't imagine the work that went into this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's look at a couple of details. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in on her eye. So tell us, what, what are we looking at here? <laughs> I wish I knew shells yeah. better. <laughs> uh, I'm really good at birds and insects, and she'd made it a birds and insects. I'd be able to pull yeah, out some, yeah. some more details. But, <laughs> but just um, these, these shells, and it's, it's interesting to me, too, that she creates effects not only by the color of the shell, but its orientation. Some mm. are some are catching the light more if they're turned upside yeah. down, and some are 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 facing the back. So you get a, a dolling effect. So she's 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 actually doing a lot of work in the selection, not just picking out colors, but she's right. picking out the the structural details that create the 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 effects of the painting. That's just kind of amazing when you yeah. step back and see this. <laughs> right. Right. Um, I see shells. I also see some fossilized shark teeth. Uh huh. There. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, uh, especially on the lower part of the eye. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe on the lower right over here. Maybe like a lobster claw. Or yeah. Cra yeah. Yeah. Crab claw or something. Crab yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Good. But yeah, yeah just a, a stunning. This does not look like anything but a pile of right of uh, seashells and other things. And then you zoom out, and it's a beautiful eye. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a couple incredible. more details here. Um, feather. Feather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's appropriate. Yeah. Um, and maybe some 
what, egg cases up there? And yeah, the, a couple of, it might be skates or sharks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, something from the order conjectures, if that means anything. Okay, all right, I like <laughs> no. it. I like it. A whole oh, seahorse? A, a, a seahorse. <laughs> this is part of her hair. Um, more shark's teeth in there, too. And um, driftwood. Driftwood. Yeah. And a lot of different kinds of shells. I, I, mm -hmm. I really I really like the, the way that she's she's taken some this may be coral of some kind up here with the, the long, thin Oh it is stuff. yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I I'm not yeah. quite sure but Well let's go back to the the whole image here. So you said this is a Polynesian woman. Um why how how does this relate to the scripture of he'll remember those on the Isles of the Sea? So for, for for me, um, I, I lived about two and a half years on the big island of Hawaii, okay. and there is a, a it, there's there's traditional legends about Christ coming to Hawaii mm -hmm. and and actually visiting the the, the the people there, and you know we don't have a scriptural record of that, but it, but, but certainly that's embedded in uh, the the people who have lived there and. Have made their living, their culture, their their ways of thinking mm -hmm. on the islands, and so this scripture fits in perfectly that he remembers the islands of the sea, literally and directly and importantly, and both to the people and I'm sure to the Lord. So yeah, yeah, this is yeah, and I think the the medium that she's used here really symbolizes that, yeah. right? That there's all these different shapes and colors and sizes, um, different types of creatures but they come together to make something beautiful together. And, and, and from that culture, the sea is, is such a source of food. It's a source of, 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 of everything that they do in their culture. The sea is, is mm. always there, always important. And, and sure. so this seems really important. I mean, it's made from the sea. This is literally made from the sea. So remembering the islands of the sea with creatures, remnants, and things. Yeah. It's kind of profound, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. It draws the mind directly to, the, to that scripture and to the, to the people that, that, that lived by and on mm -hmm. the sea and mastered its, its uh, cuisines and yeah. its, its uh, you know, <laughs> the, everything about it. So, right, yeah, right, I, yeah. I, I, this is just incredible. Yeah, I think it does show a kind of a reverence for nature and, uh -huh. and for God's creations. But also, um, it brings up the, the artist creation, too, that she's using God's creations to make her own creations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very meta, in fact. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. So as, as a biologist and also a, a theologian and, and writer, like, how, what does this scripture mean to you or, or, or the, this piece mean to you? So one of the things I'm really interested in theologically mm -hmm. is the idea of embodiment mm -hmm. and that our theology embraces an idea that we are material beings, that we're constructed from materials of the earth, we're, we're this is, and from my perspective, this is where we evolved. <laughs> and, and we're tied completely to the matter and structures that we find in the physics of the, of the world. And for me, this came to mind when I looked at this mm -hmm. and I thought about embodiment and mm -hmm. I thought how we are made from the from the earth, and this is a very direct instantiation of that. I think. I think w we look at that and we see that she is is composed of these the shells of sea creatures and other things, and it became another level of symbol for me, mm -hmm. where where I'm symbolically thinking about how we, I, I think we don't often as often as we should think about our relationship to the earth and it's it's our creation our place mm -hmm. is really as immattered embodied beings and this speaks to that to me I, I i saw in this those ideas of our very latter day saint view that we are our matter mm -hmm. we know our spirits are matter and so we are in a way a composite being mm -hmm. with a with a particular history and a particular form. Mm -hmm. And this for me, I, I, I don't know if she was going <laughs> for that, but this really jumped out at me as 
a, 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 an example yeah. of what it means to be a Latter-day Saint theologian or, or really an, a member who understands that, that we have a close tie with matter and, mm -hmm. and why that matters. <laughs> Is that a bad pun? No. <laughs> that's really beautiful. And I hadn't really thought about that with this piece that she has made out of these these earthy materials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like we are. So yeah. that's that's really interesting too. Mm -hmm. And uh, but but I love that 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 it, it it's speaking to several levels of relevancy. We mm -hmm. you know I'm thinking about matter and about biology. Uh, the artist is thinking about culture, and mm -hmm. and she's she's obviously tying into elements of the culture, the the the, the creatures that came from essentially the same cultural structures that emerged mm -hmm. from living on the islands and right. dealing with the islands and making yeah. that a, a a home place. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's just. Um, an incredible work of art. The artist told me it took her, uh, let me get this right, 190 hours to put it, just to assemble it. Wow. And at, that was after collecting the shells. And then um, the whole piece weighs about 100 pounds. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, just, just so this isn't it. one you carry to the lesson yeah. with right. yourself. Yeah, you yeah. get a picture of it and do it that way. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, wow. I love that. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your thoughts. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Glad to, glad to have some time to think about this too. It's really an important piece. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, thanks. Thank you.